I don't follow the polls. I don't follow the pundits. But I follow the energy. <laughs> and this does not feel like second place energy in here tonight. I had a friend of mine, smart guy, he's a billionaire, texted me this morning. And he said, why the hell are you guys wasting your time in New York City instead of going to a swing state? You want to know what I told him? I said, welcome to 2024, New York is a swing state. <laughs> I got a message for Kamala Harris tonight. We're feeling the joy in New York City tonight, aren't we? And the only celebration bigger than this one right now is going to be on the evening of November 5th when we send Donald J. Trump back to the White House as your 47th president and commander in chief. And I'm looking around here, there's only one man who is going to be more happy than everybody else in this room when that happens. And that is going to be a man by the name of Joe Biden, actually. He is so pissed off about what they did then. And you know, he's thinking, but I'm going to say it. Identity politics never works in America. When you select somebody on the basis of their race and their gender, it always ends up being a disaster. And I'm actually talking about Tim Walz this time, by the way. It goes both ways. So listen up, guys. Last year, I became the youngest person ever to run for U.S. president as a Republican. And thank you. I appreciate that. And I'll tell you something about my generation. We are lost. We are hungry to be part of something bigger than ourselves. Yet we can't even answer what it means to be an American today. We're in the middle of a national identity crisis. Faith in God, patriotism, hard work, family. These things have disappeared only to be replaced by wokeism and transgenderism, climatism, covidism, depression, anxiety, fentanyl, suicide. These are symptoms of a deeper void of purpose and meaning in our country. And right now, we need to step up and fill that void with our own vision. Answer, what does it mean to be an American in the year 2024? It means we believe in the ideals of 1776. It means we believe in merit, that the best person gets the job regardless of their skin color, that you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. That's why we're done with the woke DEI agenda bringing in meritocracy to America. It means we believe in the rule of law, and I say this as the kid of legal immigrants to this country. That means your first act of entering this country cannot break the law, and that is why if we've had the largest influx of illegals into this country in American history, we will have the largest mass deportation in American history. That is now racist or xenophobic. That is what it means to stand for the rule of law in the United States of America. It means we believe in self-governance, that the people we elect to run the government, for God's sake, ought to be the ones who actually run the government, not unelected bureaucrats in the deep state that are running the show today. So you want another mass deportation? Let's get three million federal bureaucrats out of the D.C. bureaucracy. That's the mass deportation that saves the country. What does it mean to be American? It means we have elections we can trust and believe in. And that means single day voting on election day as a national holiday with paper ballots and government issued ID to match the voter file. That's how we save the country after we win it this time by voting early. These are not black ideas or white ideas. They are American ideals that set this country into motion. We're in a war to revive them. And right now, we need the commander-in-chief who will lead us to victory. That is your next president, Donald J. Trump.